It's been an awfully long time since Great Britain last played a home Fed Cup tie. The last time the team turned out on British soil, back in Nottingham in 1993, Google hadn't been invented, John Major was Prime Minister and only one member of this current crop of players had been born. 26 years on, Britain are still in the fiendish lead tough to escape Europe, Africa Group 1 zone but hope home advantage can end the long wait for promotion to the world group. At the University of Bath this week, Captain Anne Kiathavong, who didn't represent Britain on home soil throughout her whole career, will send her troops out to battle against fellow European hopefuls hoping to book their spots back in the big time. Asked how it felt to be playing a home tie, Kiathavong replied, Brilliant, before joking, ask me again at the end of the week. Group A Wednesday, GBV Slovenia, Hungary v Greece Thursday, GBV Greece, Hungary v Slovenia Friday, GB. V Hungary, Greece v Slovenia Group B Wednesday, Serbia v Georgia, Croatia v Turkey Thursday, Croatia v Georgia, Serbia v Turkey Friday, Serbia v Croatia, Turkey v Georgia. There's been a lot of effort put in to get this event here. I know the players are excited to play in front of a home crowd in front of a full capacity crowd. It's something we've always wanted as a team and now we have that opportunity. Everyone is fit, everyone is ready, everyone is ready to rise to the challenge and embrace the home support, British No. 1. Johanna Conta, the only player alive when the team last played in the UK, will spearhead the charge, with experienced campaigner Heather Watson also joined by up-and-comers Katie Bolter, Katie Swan and Harriet Dart in what Kiath Ivong described as her strongest possible side. 39 Conte 83 Bolter 110 Watson 122 Dart 174 Swan The biggest dilemma facing Kiath Ivong, who, unsurprisingly, would not give away anything regarding her team selection in her pre-tournament press conference, is who will join Conte in playing singles in the opening match. Bolter, 22, has risen to British number 2 in recent times and impressed at the Australian Open but Watson is the more experienced campaigner. Both were confident they could deliver the goods if Kiath Ivong threw them into the mix. If I do get the chance to play I think I'm going to relish the moment, Bolter said. I'll put everything on the line and give everything I possibly can, a Watson added, I really feel like I thrive in this environment, the team environment, Kanta is undoubtedly the most important player in the British setup and appeared back towards her best during two tight Australian Open matches against Ila Tomljanovic and Garbine Muguruza. I think there's a lot of good things to take from the Australia trip, the 27-year-old said. Obviously I had two great matches in Melbourne. Fed Cup is always a little bit different, the general emotions, the general vibe is a little bit different to a normal event. I'll look to enjoy that, and look to draw on the experience of the past Fed Cup ties I've played. It will be a different experience playing in front of a home crowd. The Brits, who also received the backing of MPs in the build-up to the four-day event, have enjoyed relative success in this format over the past two years, coming out of the group stages and through the promotional playoff before falling to Romania and then Japan in the World's Group 2 playoffs. Who stands in Britain's way? Kiathavong's side have to come through three opponents in Group A to reach Saturday's promotional playoff against the winner of Group B. The Brits take on Slovenia on Wednesday, Greece on Thursday and Hungary on Friday. Of the three nations in Britain's path, Greece possess the strongest player in world number 38 Maria Sakkari while Slovenia's Delilah Jakupovic is inside the top 100. Slovenia, Wednesday, 86 Jakupovic 169 Juven 382 Potochnikin, a Brodisic Greece, Thursday, 38 Sakari 171 Grammatica Pulu 462 Papa Mikhail, a Arcadia No Hungary, Friday, 224 Bandar 308 Yanni 311 Galfin, a Nagy Hungary, without top 2 ranked players Taima Babos and Fanny Stoller, don't have a player ranked inside the top 200 and were beaten by Britain in last year's promotional playoffs. It's fair to say Team GB have the strongest squad among the nations in their group. Should they reach Saturday's promotional playoff, Kiathavong's side will meet one of Croatia, Georgia, Serbia or Turkey.